Hey guys, what's up? Gray here, and welcome back to, well, Python. So, I am moving all of my code from C-sharp to Python, and you are going to help me do it. So, first off, we are going to have to install Python, of course. So, if you come to this website, you're going to want to hit download and download for Windows. Here, it'll just download it right for you. Just launch it and install it. I would install it at the default location, and make sure that you click Add to Path so that it can find your Python. Then you're going to want to download PyCharm. This is the IDE I will be using. There are other IDEs, but this is the one that I've been recommended, so I'm going to be using PyCharm. Plus, it is super easy to set up with Pygame, so all you have to do is download PyCharm. Once you've installed PyCharm, you can open it up. Alright, I'm going to create a new project, call it Top Down Racing, and we can just do that. Let it create your virtual environment. Awesome. So now we have a basic Python script. So now what we'll want to do is install the Pygame. So if you go to File and Settings, head down to Project, your project name. You'll hit Project Interpreter, and then you can search, hit the plus, and then you can search Pygame. And here you can click this and hit Install Package. There you go, and just hit install package, wait for it to install. There we go. You can also install these. They have buttons and colliders and input that you can try out. Close that out, hit OK. And now all we have to do, import Pygame. There we go. You want to open up your command prompt as administrator and then use these commands. This will basically just install Pygame to your user directory. There you go. And then you type in the second command to make sure it works. You'll get to play a little game. There you go. There's also another command we can do. Pygame.initiate. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this until the next episode, but if you want to uh, look into this, I will be porting over my whole C-Sharp game into PyCharm. So let me know what you all think. After we initialize Pygame, we're going to want to create the screen as well. So we'll do screen equals pygame.display.set mode. And this is going to take in two parameters, the width and the height. So we'll do 1280 by 720. Perfect. That's the screen. And then if we want a title and an icon for the actual uh, screen box, we can do pygame.display.setCaption. We need a title. We'll just say uh, top down racing. And on the next line, we can do the icon. Uh, I'm not going to have an icon right now, but I'll show you how to do that. Just set icon to pygame.image.load. And uh, the image.png right there. Uh, so then just put that png in the same directory as your main.py. And that should work out. And then you do pygame dot display set icon. Say icon. So that'll set the icon as the icon. Lastly, we're gonna want to create a game loop. And this will um, basically say if it is running and while it's running, and uh, if it was to quit, then it would change running to false. So. Let's write that really quick. We'll do running equals true. And while running for the event in pygame dot event dot get. So this basically gets the event in pygame. If the event 
type equals pi game dot quit then running will be false if event oh event type there we go and while running lastly say in the four part right here we'll do a background color so we're just gonna do screen dot fill and it is RGB so we'll do zero in red and uh, maybe 15 green and uh, five okay also I need to do pi game dot display dot okay. And that should update it with the color. Let's uh, run. Oh, let's uh, run. There we go. Now we have a metallic blue. And uh, now we can do whatever we'd like in this window. If you have any questions about this code, you can look in the description and find my GitHub, or you can type in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to install PyCharm with me and try it out. If you did enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be great. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.